See if you can get a shot. Get me some light. Really? That should be enough light for anyone. <laughs> that is an aircraft spotting light. And that is an anti-aircraft artillery piece you're using on it. One hit. No, red barrel's bad. Get out of there. Is, is this Tomb Raider? I, I thought it was. Ice and Gwen, and we're back with an Overwatch mission. This time it is uh, Tomb Raider, uh, and this is the game midpoint. Uh, it's not a review, it's just part of a really a five dollar less game series. If, if you missed it, you know, there, there's a new Rise of the Tomb Raider that's come out on presently on Xbox and PC. I think they released on PC. It's exclusive for one year. So look out! Ow. But uh, this is the original one. It was on uh, 360 Xbox, uh, uh, PS3. Here comes another guy. Well, you don't want to be in that situation. Hide <laughs> behind corners. Uh, it was on uh, Xbox, PS4, and, and then they, they redid it in high def, theoretically, on uh, Xbox One and uh, PS4. And I think they released on PC also. Yes, they, they did. Now you can tell this was originally done for the last generation because uh, people have masks. That, that's a trick in the development of video games. You don't want to spend a lot of time on faces. Uh, every original face takes up more uh, asset space, so put everyone with the same mask or hat on or something like that to, to keep them uh, well, hide the face. Give them a generic look too, though, and you'll notice that. Anyway, we're, we're at midpoint in this one, and I will say that it's, it is a good game. Uh, I like it. I played it on the, the PS4. I didn't on the, the, the PS3. Uh, the, the graphics are certainly better. They talked a lot about her hair when they originally did it. See if you can get a shot. Get me some the, light. The giant artillery light. So, uh, and the reason I mentioned the hair is because, yeah, the hair flows, unlike in previous video games. It, uh, it's animated. But they could have spent some time on uh, just a little bit of the other graphics because they are really stand out for this, this last gen. Nonetheless, it is a good corridor to it. They, you do have more freedom than you did in previous uh, Tomb Raider games. And obviously the graphics are, are far advanced over the It's rid of that light. Well, I gotta hide until I uh, avoid dying. Uh, in this case, you can see that it's corridor because you don't have the freedom to shoot out the light as you would in a lot of open uh, sandbox games. So, but there are multiple corridors you can follow. She's really good in melee, and, and this entire part doesn't even seem very too great. She's got finishers. He's about to go down, or she's about to go down. Can I get the cover before I do? Yes. And she's got a grenade launcher in a bowl. Uh, with all that said, uh, there, there's still the tombs. They're still figuring out uh, the riddles. Uh, some good voice acting. Some really powerful, oh, grenade. really powerful, uh, I guess, uh, effects and music and uh, overall soundtrack. Did a great job. It's very, very loud. So it gives you a feel of it. Uh, this is the, the usual. Gotta get rid of the guy hiding in the artillery piece or heavy machine gun. And it was the secret grade grenade launcher track. So in some cases, if you've played these games, there's not a lot of surprises, which is Laura! Laura! Oh, well, climb over! The scene Come on! Here. Head for Roth, I'll follow. And Sam, don't get on the helicopter. Just trust me. Please trust me. Go! I guess if there's only one thing that was a disappointment to me was the fact that the corridors are very predictable. You've played enough of these games, you know. But, you know, it's worth a try. You can find it under $5. So, this is Ice and Quinn. Remember to like and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Catch you later.